Welcome to Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center. My name is Corey and today we're going to talk about H2O Canoe Company's Ultralight Helium series of canoes, specifically the carbon version. In the carbon version what you have in terms of the materials to make the canoe, on the outside you have carbon, your hull will be coated in a gel coat, and then on the inside you have an inner weave that combines Kevlar with carbon. Your Kevlar, if you look, is that green golden color and then that black weave will be the carbon. The benefits to you in terms of a boat that's being made out of these materials is the carbon is a very stiff material but it's also very, very light. The idea being it will keep the weight of the canoe down so easier to portage or carry on and off the car. It also will improve the efficiency of the boat because the carbon is very stiff. So less flex when you paddle means less energy absorption, which will slow you down over time. The gel coat that's on the hull, that improves your impact resistance when you do get those bumps and bruises that will happen from rocks that maybe your bow paddler didn't see, or if you're dragging that boat on and on, or in and out of the launch spot that maybe is a little more overgrown or more of a natural type of launch. The inside when you have that Kevlar, the benefit to the Kevlar in this mix is Kevlar is a great material for impacts. The reason it is is because it does flex, it will absorb the energy of an impact, reducing the chance of cracking your boat or going right into cloth. What we have sandwiched between your layer of carbon and Kevlar is an additional layer of Kevlar and then around high stress areas, stem, around bilge points is a, a couple of layers of fiberglass to improve the durability of those areas. In terms of the resins used to make a boat like this is in this series the ultralight helium carbon is used making vinyl ester resin. Vinyl ester resin is kind of the middle of the road resin, so it helps keep costs down, but it does keep weights down and does give you some good strength. So in terms of resins, you have three types. You have your epoxy on the high end, you have polyester on the very low end, and then in the middle is that vinyl ester resin which is used in making this canoe. When we talk about the features of this certain build, what you'll find you get that comes stock with the boat is that diamond core shape in the hull is a foam core that's been infused with resin. So it's very, very stiff, but still very light because the foam core is simply just a styrofoam that's been saturated with resin. Because it's all one piece, you do have a real stiff hull. So better for you when you're out there paddling for efficiency because less flex in your hull. And also when you get some impacts on the bottom because it's all one piece that impact is distributed out evenly throughout the core so it's not localized on that strike zone where you find with the strict rib system boat where you have in between two ribs you actually have a stress and tear spot. Speaking of ribs this is new for 2015 in the build is Jeff Hill at H2O Canoe Company has started to incorporate ribs along the wall of this boat to further improve the stiffness on the outside. You'll have a deep dish portaging yoke that comes stock with the boat, so very easy, nice and comfortable on the shoulders. And for us, as H2O's largest and original dealer, we have them upgrade the kneeling thwart and the five finger hand grips. Without these installed and you just have a straight thwart and a straight handle, you're looking at about a $160 upgrade that we pass along for free to you. In the boat as well, you'll find this ICG gunnel. So it's an integrated composite gunnel. What that means is this inner rail, this foam core, again, like that diamond core in the hull, is that styrofoam or that core that's been infused with resin, very, very stiff, very, very light. But in terms of the, the benefit in this build is that ICG is actually right into the mold. So when this canoe is built, that gunnel system is already there. The after fact is added this anodized aluminum outer rail and it's raised a little bit. The idea being here is when you're transporting that boat and dragging it on and off racks or even in storage, you're actually just gonna rub along the aluminum as opposed 
to that fiber here where you can wear through the cloth and get down into the core, um, which means you would have to do a repair. So nice and easy, nice, uh, nice system that reduces weight, improves stiffness, and because of that raised aluminum rail, you don't have to really worry about the durability in the end. You'll also find with this boat is you have float tanks either side bow and stern, but you actually have access to them. The reason you have access to that is it allows you to have easy access for repair and it does give you some dry storage for things like car keys and a wallet that you don't want to end up at the bottom of the lake should you go over. Um, when you do a repair on a tank, what you want to do is do it from the inside and not the outside. So now that you have access to that, it makes it really easy to do. When we look at the seats, they're going to be candid so they're nice and comfortable to sit on. But more importantly, they're actually riveted into the wall of the boat on a rail. What that does for you is it improves the stiffness of the wall again, but it reduces the amount of sway that you can get in the seat as you paddle. So specifically that stern seat, if you have a seat that's hung from an L bracket, it allows the seat to sway back and forth. When you have sway in the back end, that does mean your canoe is going to want to kind of fishtail as you go along the lake, which is not as efficient. It will be a slower paddle and you have to use more energy to keep yourself going. So that system with the, the rail, really, really stiff, you don't have any of that sway. Again, my name is Corey and I'm from Frontenac Outfitters. We were talking about the ultralight helium series of canoes, specifically the carbon version. When you're into a boat like this, you're in sort of that mid 40s, so nice and light, easy to carry, very stiff on the hull because of the gel coat. So it's, it's a best of both worlds where you do have decent durability, really lightweight, um, and good performance on the water. If you're interested in coming out to paddle one, we do free test paddling six days a week, so just come on out and have some fun. Thank you.